What's up guys, Tommy Bowie here from Move Rewind and today I'm going to be talking about the five new characters Casualty will be introducing in April. So without further ado, let's get into it. So if you're a Casualty fan last me, you're probably still getting over last Saturday's episode when we saw not the departure of one character, but three characters. I have to say, if you haven't seen my mini review for last week's episode, I would highly recommend it. In brief, it's one of the most emotional episodes of Casualty I have seen in a very long while. All of the cast were exceptional, the writing was amazing, and I have to say, if I was working for Casualty, I would be going up to BBC executives, showing them this episode and saying, this is what Casualty can do when it's on top form and you should have more respect to it. Um, in this episode, we saw the death of long serving nurse Robin Miller. Amanda Henderson had been in the show for 10 years, so an impressive run. And I have to say Robin's death was handled very, very well. It was one of those deaths which I think is gonna have long-term consequences. It broke the department as we saw the walkout of pretty much the entire nursing staff in the aftermath of her death. We saw long-serving nurses David Hyde and Marty Kirby both throw in the towel, which I think was great. We knew that Jason Durr would be leaving the role of David Hyde. We had no idea how that would happen, but I have to say I think it was handled very well in the sense that it reflects reality, how so many nurses working in the NHS are eventually just turning around and saying, why am I bothering with this? We get no resources, bureaucrats keep telling us what to do, the government keeps uh, limiting our funding, so you know what? We're done. And I think their departures was handled very, very well. But obviously, that left a bit of a void, because now we only have Charlie and Jacob as nursing characters. So of course I was sitting there thinking, well, they must be bringing in new characters, you know, they must be announcing them. But the days went on and it was like, I don't know, they haven't announced anything yet. But then we were in for a treat because yesterday morning they announced the introduction of five new nursing characters. And I have to say, it was such a surprise. I expected maybe two to be introduced to replace David and Marty, but five? This is like one of the biggest casting announcements Casualty have done. While they usually introduce new characters, they're not usually all announced at the same time. So I thought it would be nice to do a video where I'm just going to discuss the actors who are joining the program, as well as a returning character who Holby City viewers may know very, very well. So I'm not gonna hide the fact that I can't remember all of the actors' names, because obviously there are five of them, and they were only announced yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to memorize all the names yet. So I do apologize, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on in order to read. I know, I'm an old man trapped inside a young man's body. So the actors are as follows. We have Barney Walsh, Anna Chell, Sarah Sigari, and Eddie Joe Robinson. Now, I don't know any of these actors. The only one I think I know, and I think most viewers would know, is Barney Walsh. He's the son of Bradley Walsh, obviously a, a very known personality in the UK. Um, so it's great to see that we've got four new actors. They're all quite young, so obviously Casualty have decided to go for uh, younger actors who can probably grow into their roles, which I think is always a great thing. Um, a lot of actors have come into Casualty, it's often been their first major breakthrough, and they've just made a name. I mean, Amanda Henderson as Robin Miller, you know, that was her breakthrough role, and she was in the role for 10 years. So I think it's good that they've got fresh blood, that's always a good thing to shake up the show a bit. And obviously, I said there were five actors, but the fifth actor is someone who I think most of you will probably know, and that is the fact that Jay Jacobs is returning to the role of Donna Jackson. Now, Donna Jackson, if you don't know, is a Holby City character, a character who has a long history with Holby City as a program. She originally appeared from 2004 until 2011, and then she returned from 2017 until the program's cancellation in 2022. So, Donna Jackson is a very well-regarded char character in the Holby City community. For my part, I always found Donna to be a very enjoyable character, a very funny character, but also one who you could really get behind her emotional storylines as well. You know, the, Jay Jacobs as an actor is very talented. I've seen her in a few programs from Holby City to Waterloo Road. She never phones it in 
which is great. I don't want actors appearing in Casualty who are just there for the paycheck. I want them to be committed to the program. And I think Jay Jacobs really is committed to the character of Donna Jackson. So it'll be great to see her arrive in Casualty. And to be honest, I'm shocked that it's taken over a year for a Holby City character to come into Casualty. Because obviously, I think when I said when Holby City was cancelled, I think I said that what they should do is introduce a couple of Holby City characters into Casualty because I just thought that would be a really great idea because Holby City had some very talented actors working for it. Uh, my money would have been on Fletch considering Fletch already has a history with Casualty but I'm not disappointed that Donna's joining as well because I think Donna will be a very interesting character and if you um, haven't seen a lot of Holby City, if you've only watched Casualty, I think you'll warm to Donna very quickly because she is a very likeable character. Now the more eagle-eyed amongst you if you've seen the post um, announcing these new characters you might see that Donna's uniform is different from all the other nurses and it says on it clinical nurse manager. Now what does this mean? Well clinical nurse manager is the person in charge of the nursing staff. Now currently that role is fulfilled by Jacob Masters and obviously it was Jacob's management style which caused the tragic events of Robin's death and the majority of the staff to walk out. So does this mean that Donna is coming in as a replacement for Jacob? Well I would say the obvious answer is yes. Does this mean that Jacob is simply stepping down or is he leaving the show permanently? Now actor Charles Venn has not made any suggestions that he's quitting the show yet but that doesn't mean that it's not happening. Casualty sometimes like to keep character exits under wraps so it's a bit more of a shock which I completely understand if anything I prefer that because it's better if it's a, a massive plot twist that you didn't see coming. Um, in this week's episode it looks like Jacob is resigning from the role of clinical nurse manager so I would say with him resigning that's probably how Donna comes into the show and then we get four new nurses as well considering all of the nursing team uh, walked out. So this last bit of the video I just want to put uh, viewers minds at ease because I've seen a couple of comments on Casualty's Facebook and Instagram saying oh look all the cast are leaving uh, Casualty is dead as a program. Now I think this is an overreaction. Um, if you look at Casualty's history every couple of seasons there's a massive shake up in the cast. It's just something which happens. I mean, I would say series 22 and series 30 are prime examples when we saw a lot of well-loved characters leave. And yet the show is still here at series 37. So I think it's an overreaction to say Casualty is nearing cancellation. I mean, it's still a very well-loved uh, program. It has a really solid fan base and probably one of the best communities for a BBC show that I know personally. Obviously, I'm biased because I'm a massive fan of Casualty. But usually cast changes occur when uh, a new casualty boss comes in because I think it's just a decent opportunity for actors who've been in the role a long time and are looking for uh, a chance to experience other things. It's the perfect opportunity to leave when a new boss takes over. Now a couple of months ago, if anyone doesn't know, John Sen took over as the executive producer of Casualty. John Sen has a long history with Casualty. He's written a lot of Casualty episodes. He's directed a lot of Casualty episodes. And he was the executive producer of EastEnders. So Sen is someone who is very experienced and he has often said that Casualty is very close to his heart and he respects the fans. So I think the show is in safe hands and if last week's episode is anything to go by, if that is the direction John Sen intends to take the show, then I think it's a good direction. Now Sen has said that he wanted to shake up the nursing staff and obviously he has, he's introduced five new characters. So it's fair to say that Sen wants to introduce new characters to replace much loved characters such as Ethan Hardy, David Hyde, Robin Miller, who have chosen to depart the series. Now, the thing about Donna Jackson, I'm looking forward to Donna Jackson's return and John Sen has actually gone into detail about bringing Donna Jackson into the program. John Sen has said that he wants to have cameos and introduce Holby City characters to try to attract the Holby City audience to watch Casualty. Now I think that is a fantastic idea. We saw last week with consultant Sasha Levy returning for a cameo in Casualty that 
that can work and it makes sense. Holby City, just because the BBC have forgotten about it, it doesn't mean that Casualty should forget about it because Holby City was Casualty's sister show. So I think it is something which Casualty should pay homage to a lot more. And by introducing Donna as a regular character, I think that is the first step of a good plan. If John Sen intends to introduce more Holby City characters going forward, I'm not going to complain because as I said previously, several of the actors involved in Holby City were top tier actors. So I'd love to see them appear in Casualty, even if it's not on a regular basis like they're doing with Donna, just cameo appearances like they did with Sasha. I see no problem with that whatsoever. So thanks for watching guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe in order to receive great and maybe even improved quality content in the future. Now I know I usually upload on a Wednesday so this is a special Friday video. Uh, it's just because it was a massive announcement. I mean five new actors joining the program. That is huge. Are they all being introduced at the same time? Well, they've said they're going to be introduced in April, so they could potentially be introduced at the same time. I'm very much looking forward to it. I hope you are as well, and I will see you in another one. See ya!